everybody welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech and today I'm installing my SID in my car I got this from Laurent on Facebook he goes by the name Time Circuit it's pretty cool really easy to install seems to fit pretty well here in the DeLorean I haven't uh, finalized the installation yet I could probably do that in a separate video but it's pretty cool Okay, so here's my unboxing video. So this thing came all the way from France. And it just got here today on the 24th. So 14 days total. Not bad considering the situation. Ooh, looks good. wiring here, USB. Yeah, looks good. There's the circuit board right there. Can't wait to get this thing hooked up. And here's the little remote control that it comes with. So the SID measures in at right at 10 and a quarter inches so in order to connect this to your um, DeLorean to the 12 volt power source in your DeLorean this comes with a USB cable connected to it and this little blue connector right here this is the 12 volt power connection so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the USB cable from there and attach a different wire to it and then it should be able to just pull that out so this green connector here is actually an audio connector this I've got some of this 16 gauge power cable so what I'm gonna do is just measure out how much I'm gonna need strip these connect it here and then wire this up directly to my flux capacitors 12 volt input so that way they're controlled together so here's the wiring for the flux, positive, negative. So what I'm planning on doing is just putting some side taps right here and then connecting that to the SID. Okay, so I've got my power wire ready to go. I've stripped off the ends here to connect to the SID. And I've been connected the side tap terminal connectors right here. That'll be going to the flux. So what you're gonna wanna do is Go ahead and make the connection. And then just tighten down the terminals. Don't over tighten. When you're done making your connection, just go ahead and screw in the bracket that I removed in order to gain access to that little area where you make the connection. So I would screw in both of the little screws first. These are hex screws. So it has them tightened down with some of these little nuts right here. I got my Allen wrench, the little nut in place. To the other side. So Laurent does include some documentation, actually he sends it to you. He's got uh, two page instructions on how to 
operate the SID and also how to connect it. He's got the audio connection, which is basically um, accepting a line output. It also has the GPS trigger as well, and he also includes a schematic of the board itself. So, okay, so here's my flux capacitor, and I'm just gonna hook up my side taps. I got my side taps in, ready to plug it in, see what happens. Okay, and I'm gonna connect the SID. I've got it in the car here. What I plan on doing is, is connecting it to the back wall. So all I'm gonna do is plug in my connectors and we're good to go. I'm gonna turn off the flux first before I do it. I got a little switch up here. So no power going to it. Okay, so I went ahead and made my connections and I'm gonna turn it on the first time. There it goes, cool. All right, so here we got the flux and the SID working the same time. So the first mode is the Back to the Future SID mode. So here's the remote and we've got it in demo mode right now, which is sort of the, if you don't have the speedometer, this is the mode that you would want to use it in. Uh, pressing button number one right here, we'll change it to real mode. There's real mode. Press it again. To get back to back to the future mode. You can also adjust the speed by pressing the left and right arrow. Let's see how that works. So you can see it's a lot slower here in this mode. In order to speed it up, all you do is just hit this right here. I've been holding it down. And then that will make it go a little faster. So it goes pretty fast. By pressing the up and down button on the remote here, you can go from normal mode to peak mode. See if we can, there's peak mode right there. So slightly different, normal mode, peak mode, so normal, peak. So there's also a spectrum analyzer mode. In order to do that, you select button number two. So that gets it in the spectrum analyzer mode. And I don't have an audio hooked up to it yet, but I'm going to work on that pretty soon. But in order to adjust the input level, uh, you use buttons uh, seven and eight. So also eight increases it. So seven decreases it. It's pretty cool. So button number three gets you in the scrolling mode. Back to the future. And button number four gets you into vertical mode. So that's vertical mode. And there's also a way to edit the text. So I think if you press the OK button, you get to go into edit text mode. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Status indicator display. Great Scott. 1.21 gigawatts. Wait, that's not how you spell gigawatts, though, so I'm going to have to edit that. Okay, so here's how you edit the text. So I'm just cutting gigawatts. 
the C. Let's get the A. There it is. So hit the OK button. There it is, 1.21 gigawatts. Good, so we got the spelling correct on that. So it also has a Tetris mode. And in order to activate that mode, you press number nine. So here's Tetris. And in order to play it, you just use your keypad here. Press OK to change the shapes. everybody so that's the video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or anything on how to acquire one of these just drop them in the comments and i'll go ahead and respond to those anyway guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video